So the following example is the first example of topic 6 in bending. So it's just trying to calculate the centroid. So how do we work out the centroid? So observing this I section over here. Obviously an I section, as you know or previously seen, it has two flanges. Flange 1 here and flange 2 here. And it's got um, the web, which is the vertical element. Okay, so we need to find X bar and Y bar, in other words, uh, the, the centroid. So how do we work out X bar? So x bar is the sum of ai times xi divided by the sum of ai. In this, uh, i means individual elements. So it's the sum of all the individual elements. So ai is the area of one element times xi. So how do we work out the centroid? We always adopt a set of arbitrary axes and we use it as a reference point. So in this case, in this in this i section, my 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 x my x and y axis are on the bottom left corner. So the reference point is right here, this circle here. The left hand, the bottom left corner of my I section is the reference point. So I'll call it R, reference point. Okay. So that's where my reference point is. When we do x bar, we need to. When we do x bar, we consider the distance of the center of an element horizontally from the reference point. So what do I mean by this? So let's say we're doing x bar. So we do. The sum of area times distance away from the reference point. The distance of the center of an element horizontally from the left hand corner. So x bar, let's let's do this one first. This hundred times ten refers to the area of the flange.